So we are coming to the very end of this service road. Not because it's blocked, not because it's failed, but because the Forest Service has kept it open and maintained it to stay open. Because at the very end of here is a trail. So we're at a trailhead and not a blocked or closed road, which says a lot for the Forest Service. Thank you. The tent, all set up in its full glory. Quick outside shot. Still liking it. Season number two. Very nice. And I don't mind the setup. And the look. <laughs> kind of a classic. Remember the old... Uh, wagon trains and the covered wagons that's what this reminds me of all canvas showing you the inside of the Kodiak canvas truck tent from the tailgate looking in We didn't change anything up for this season, except that we did add a new mattress, just like last year. Very easy to set up. Very good shelter. With all the windows open, with the screens in place, great ventilation too. have a new table, camp table. I know it's backpack based, but that's how I roll. Very lightweight. You can see that. Got our night lights set up. Up to the side of the truck here. It's all the gear stowed away. Our water on top of the milk crate. That milk crate is going to come in very handy for a very special application here in the future. I'll tell you more about that in coming videos. There it is. There it is. That's camp. And when the sun comes up tomorrow, I'm going to show you why we chose this uh, particular spot. We got out kind of late this afternoon, so all the prime spots along this Forest Service Road closer to the river were taken. Um, and I thought I'd give you guys a break too. I mean, a lot of my uh, camping and backpacking is along rivers, so you're always hearing rivers. I thought I'd give us all a break and kind of get away from that this time, but you'll see the views. So nine o'clock, there is a burning ban, so no campfires, but uh, I'm gonna turn that into a campfire of sorts, and I'll show you and explain that a bit later. So again, nine o'clock in the evening, And we're set for the night. This is a Weber charcoal grill. 
And what I did was I cut the bottom out of it, a circle in the bottom, so that I could use my propane burner, and you saw that on the last canvas truck tent outing. So instead of buying a Weber gas grill, I bought a Weber charcoal grill and cut a circle out of the bottom so that it would match up with the propane burner that I had. And now I've got a grill and I can just easily lift, lift this off and use the burner as well. So we've got that lit. We will let it heat up and I will show you what's on the menu. That's a lot of veggies I have here. I'm only going to do about half of this, I think. Sometimes the eyes are bigger than the stomach. That's about half. So let me show you how I have this rigged up, actually. I told you about the uh, hole that I cut out down on the bottom. I also took some half-inch angle iron and cut four pieces there. And they're laid across the bottom where the charcoal would be. And <laughs> carrying on the Weber tradition of the flavorizer bars. <laughs> That's what the uh, angle iron is doing. So you see the, the grill there itself and then the angle iron. So that's what's going to give us the Weber flavorizer. I have a beef rib steak bone in. That's what we're going to serve up tonight. Wait for it. Wait for it. Brought along some Texas toast. Four cheeses on that uh, French bread, along with the garlic and some butter. Cooper is always so patient when it comes to uh, cooking. I think the half inch angle iron flavorizer bars are uh, working out decently. Time to plate it. Picked up a new table by the way and I'll show that to you uh, a little bit later. Texas toast. Big old rib steak bone in and the asparagus saute that uh, I was telling you about earlier. That's all there. And on the plate, let's try it out here. Looks like a medium rare. I know that it will be in the middle. 
There it is. Taste test. Try another piece of asparagus. We tried that earlier, but mm. Mm. special cut here. By the way, this is the condor, bush lore. Okay, buddy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good boy. You gonna sit? You gonna sit and wait for your next one? Oh, good job. <laughs> Good boy. Ready to make our campfire. And I did mention that there is a burning ban for campfires here in the National Forest. It did rain last night, but uh, <laughs> with the 90 degree temperatures the moisture dissipates rather quickly here in the forest so instead I'm going to turn on the propane burner And I'm doing this wide angle because I wanted to show you something. And many of you know this about burning propane. Your best flame is blue and you want to adjust to that. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to create a flame that's not the most efficient. And you do that by adjusting the air intake. So that we actually get a yellow flame. And that will be our campfire for this evening. Our cup of water has come to a boil. Adding to that water now, you're seeing dehydrated apples, and those are from the apple tree in our backyard, and a half a cup of the steel-cut oats. One thing about these canister stoves is they do come down 
to a nice slow simmer so we have it adjusted down and it looks like the apples have already rehydrated they're looking pretty good how you doing there buddy hey Cooper Cooper how you doing Patiently waiting for some oatmeal. You have more than I do. Patience, that is. Let's serve this up and show you what it looks like. Some brown sugar with some cinnamon. No burn, no stick to the bottom. See those apples in there? Cooper hears it. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Come on. Hold on, hold on. So we left our little camp spot. I'm showing you this because one day we are going to hike this. Come here, Cooper. Look at that. Look at that bridge. Let's go. Come on, Cooper. Let's go, buddy. Off to a trail and the mountain. Like I said, we will come back. We're in a completely different area. We're about halfway uh, into our trip home, but we're stopping here for a reason. You wanna go see the water, Cooper? You wanna go in the water? There you go. Alrighty. There you go. Can't resist the water, can ya? He wants to go deeper. And deeper. Sorry, Cooper. We're on a short leash today. Can you go back in the water? Hmm?
Very cool.